What's up guys? It is Patricia from TarantulaHeaven.com. I've got Miss Spidey right here. She is my G. Rosea, the star of the show. If you're new here, I talk about tarantulas, basically anything related to tarantulas. And sometimes I talk about my own tarantulas. So if you're into that, please consider subscribing. And if you're new here, thank you so much for coming back for Tarantula Tuesday. I am so happy that you're here. So today we're going to talk about a part of tarantula anatomy that a lot of people don't know about at first because it's one of those little subtle things, more detailed things, and that is the mirror patch. Honestly, you can do a lot of research as a new tarantula owner and there are still going to be things that you're going to miss. Um, even years into my tarantula journey, I still don't know what a lot of things are called. I do my best, but I'm still learning. Even as I got several years into the tarantula hobby, there were things that I was still learning and I continue to learn as I grow as a tarantula keeper. Um, and there was few things that took me quite a few years to figure it out and research and be curious about what was going on. So those are just the joys of being in a hobby with creatures that haven't been researched very much. We're just always learning new things and there's always more for you to learn. So what is the mirror patch? Well, the mirror patch, oh my, oh, she's gonna mess with her ball for you guys. Uh, guys, keep an eye on Spidey because I, I think there might be a likelihood that she will do something with her ball and I really hope that she does do that for you. She's got a ping pong ball in there. Sometimes she likes to roll it around. I hope that we can catch this on film for you guys. But anyway, while she's doing that and figuring out what she wants to do, I'll talk about how I discovered the mirror patch. So I kind of known what this was, but I didn't know what it was actually called and there is an actual name for it. And the reason I found this out was when I got Blinky, who is my Arizona blonde sling. Um, they are tiny, tiny, tiny. They are just, um, they were this pale little spider when I got them. And it wasn't until a few months later that I noticed they started to get this dark spot on their butt. And at first I didn't know what that was because I got Spidey here as an adult and she didn't look like that. She doesn't have a spot like that, a big dark, dark spot. You know, there are certain places in her, um, in her fur that look darker than others, but she doesn't have this really prominent black spot on her butt. But it turned out that that black spot on Blinky was completely normal. It is called the mirror patch. So what's the mirror patch? So this is a spot on some species of tarantulas on their abdomen, which is gonna look a little bit different than the other hairs. This hair might, when a light shining on it, look really iridescent, or it might even have a darker coloring than the rest of your tarantula. And only a few species of tarantulas have this. Um, Gremistola roseas are one of them. There are a few other species, but I can't pronounce all of them, so I'm just gonna leave that on the screen. Um, and so in these tarantulas, this kind of represents the urticating hairs. Those are those itchy hairs that these tarantulas like to kick off and uh, hurt their predators with. The reason it's called a mirror patch is because when you shine light on it, it reflects the light and it looks shiny like a mirror. And Spidey does have a mirror patch because she's a Gramistola. Um, hers just looks a little bit different because her fur is dark. So Blinky's is very, very noticeable. It's got this big black spot on its butt and I can see all these little hairs coming out of it um, and it looks different than the rest of her. But with Spidey, I can really only notice it if the light's shining on in a certain way and gives off that shiny appearance. So mirror patches are exclusively to New World tarantulas because they are the ones with the urticating hairs. Old World tarantulas, they do not have the mirror patch because they do not have urticating hairs. There is not much information about why tarantulas or certain tarantulas have the mirror patch. There are some theories about that, which I think could be highly, sorry, I'm looking at Spidey, that could be highly plausible theories. One that I think is the most likely is that this mirror patch is a warning to predators. When the light shines on it, the predator realizes that the tarantula is shiny and that that might mean danger. <laughs> And so maybe this is to ward off predators or call attention to those urticating hairs. You know, if I was a little spider, I would probably want this as a defense mechanism too. 
It's likely that a predator might see this reflective surface and possibly be deterred because then the spider will look like less of a good meal or they might be afraid of the urticating here. So I think that's a likely reason why they have this. Um, tarantulas and their evolutionary stuff is really, really interesting to me. Um, it's really cool that only some tarantulas have this. I think that's very interesting. Um, and I'm happy that I happen to have two tarantulas that have a mirror patch. Um, because it's actually really beautiful to look at. Um, Blinky's still developing, they're still a baby. They don't look like much yet, but for Spidey, when I photograph her and I get the lighting just right, or I'm filming her and she is just sparkling and shining, she is absolutely beautiful. And she's even beautiful when she's not shining. Um, but it just, it, it is a really, really, um, just makes them even more beautiful. Anyway, um, so that is the mirror patch. That is something that I didn't know about for a really long time. I didn't know that there was a part of the tarantula called the mirror patch because in a lot of anatomy, uh, in a lot of tarantula anatomy diagrams, that is not shown. So it all depends what you are looking at and researching. So I wanted to share that bit with you. And now Spidey is going off the screen. So I'm gonna end this video because if she is not in the clip, what are we doing? All right. Thank you so much for joining me. I will see you next week for Tarantula Tuesday. Thanks for tuning in. Bye.